the way you've spent your career in fighting, I see sometimes, you know, a guy uh, or a woman, they, they, win a, they win a championship, they work their ass off forever. And, you know, as you did, you're multi-time MMA champion. Um, you win that belt. Um, I see a lot of people, and pretty soon they're, they're filming commercials, they're filming Hollywood, Hollywood shows, they're having dinner with a lot of famous people on their Instagram. I don't, what I don't see is them training in the gym, and I always think, well, I'm not gonna have that belt for very long. Yeah, I see it all the time, a huge mistake guys make, <clears throat> they get there and they're like, well, I've succeeded, which, I mean, it's partially true, they've had some success, but it's like, to really be successful long-term and be like a legend and go down, that's when you gotta keep training, you know? The grades keep training, they can't get over distracted. Sometimes they turn down the, you know, there's finding the balance of doing some of the stuff, but if you do too much of the distraction <clears throat> stuff, that's when they start failing. Balance is for bitches. Mm -hmm. Balance is for losers. Balance is for people that have a, you know, average outcome, average life, average income, average woman. So if you want a lot of balance, it's, oh, it's really important, Derek, is balance. It's a, a good balance. Like, I gotta take my kid to soccer. Uh -huh. You got other shit to do. You gotta, you gotta go, you know what you really gotta do is gotta set an example of, of leadership and winning. And uh, I don't know, if, if, you're not, if you're not engaging in those behaviors, if you're not able to uh, you know, be a little tired, <coughs> stay up late, <coughs> solve problems, solve problems, look proactively solve the problems so you don't have bigger problems, uh, yeah, nothing's gonna get done. Nothing's gonna get done. You know, I, I think there's a, a you know, touching on, you know, what we mentioned earlier, or what we were talking about a few minutes ago, and what you and I talk about frequently is like, there's like a whole plague of people right now that like fail to show up for their own success. They, they, they wanna be successful, it sounds nice. So Derek, I'm gonna do this. Jake, I'm gonna be a black belt. But they don't wanna do the stuff. No, you have to do the work and it's like, it can be fun to do the work once you realize you're making accomplishments. And yeah. the thing is, like, you had a really busy week this uh, week, so we just, you know, we were out training until 2 a.m. And it wasn't like something we weren't going to do. It's just how it goes sometimes. You had extra work, so we went extra late. It's like we don't, not like we were, like, stoked. I mean, it was still fun. It wasn't bad. It's not like we're, like, bummed. We're training at 2 in the morning. It's just like, okay, things went longer today, so we're training late now. I don't feel bad about it. And now I hope, I don't think you feel bad no, about it either. But I, don't I hope you don't. don't. But, like, um, no, if you... You know, right now, there's big opportunities in the stock market. I've spent a uh, trillion dollars, spent a lot of money on Kohl's, about another 25,000 shares of Kohl's today. Uh, I think there's great opportunity with that. Um, you know, the election is somewhat interesting to me. I spend probably 30 minutes or, or 45 minutes a day looking at polls and looking at data, thinking about who the next president's gonna be next week. Uh, that could be very important for business decisions. It could be extremely important for our, our future livelihoods or lives in general. So I got a lot of construction. I got a, a significant construction project that I'm working on. Um, I have three live events in three months. I had one a month ago. I have one that I'm, I'm gonna be very brief on this call today. And we're gonna go do our, our live event in Vegas. I have to fly to Vegas tonight and uh, I'll be with some of our best clients for Beatdown Bootcamp. We have an amazing event we're doing this weekend. But, I take the guys to, they're gonna work out with high level professional Mr. Olympia uh, winning bodybuilders. They're going to uh, work out with MMA champions of various sorts, multiple MMA champions. We're gonna train together. Uh, so we have like a, a very physically intensive clinic going on the, the next four days in Las Vegas. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for me. It's a lot of fun for the clients. It was a very, very fun event actually. It was it's something that we get to do a lot of physical things and, and laugh and, you know celebrate some successes and also work on a few business problems or tie the pieces together. Like, you know, how, how does that heavy exertion there gonna help you in the rest of your life? But guys are exhausted, but exhilarated by the, the end of that, uh, that four days. And I'm very much looking forward to that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly soon. So we're gonna have a brief call. And you know, the, those of you that belong there have been invited and you're gonna be there. And those of you that are newer, make sure you do the homework and do the right things. So you can go through the other courses and you might be invited to the mastermind group and be able to come to our live events in the future. I only want people from the mastermind group and the live events. Normal people don't belong there. It's for the, the best people, not normal people. Um, yeah, man, you know, uh, it, does, it doesn't matter that, you know, I got, you know, decisions from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, be sleep deprived, do it again. So that's what you got to do if you want to be good at anything. If you want to have great results, that's what's necessary. Yeah, I think there's times in life too where you have to do a lot more work than others. It's not a bad thing. You just have to embrace it. You know, there's the way life flows. There might be times where like, oh, this month I'm going to be slammed, but you just mm -hmm. do the work and learn to enjoy it. I think you said that twice in different ways. I think that's an important part is that, that learn to enjoy it. That, 
I don't get grumpy about it. I'm just like, like wow, it's a lot of stuff today. Okay, let's get at it. Yeah. I mean, of course, there can be times when it's a little overwhelming, but you just don't like stress on it. Like, oh, God, this sucks. You're like, okay, learn to just go through the work. Yeah. And if you're working with people you like, that makes it a lot better, too. <laughs> you know, that's true. That, that does make things a lot easier is, uh, you know, over time, you, you'll earn... If you do the right things, you'll have a situation with your, that you don't have to be around people that you don't like. The number one thing that money buys you is the freedom to, to avoid assholes you don't like. Yeah, that's probably one of the biggest aspects. Sometimes we forget about it that we only work with people we like, but that's like a huge, huge advantage a lot of people don't have. You're people bitching about their boss or, work, or coworkers. It's like, that could be a real problem because I don't deal well with people I don't like and you don't either, so. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I just walked into you know construction site. There's you know, I don't know nine guys, nine or ten people there working, and uh, there's a lot of noise. I mean they're making noise because they're doing something for me. So, but I guess I'm, yeah, hey, we got to talk about a few important decisions. You know, stop stop the noise for a minute because they're using a, like a, a, a rotary hammer or jackhammer to um, chip away some concrete. And then, you know, I go around. And I see little gaps in my insulation. I want the insulation full. I don't want there to be. I don't give a shit if it's three sixteenths of an inch. I don't want there to be a gap in the insulation. Like compress that and then you know put in more. It has to be perfect, perfect, totally full, not not a little gap, totally full. Um, so, but everything everything runs easy. You've been on plenty of job sites or construction sites with me. Everything runs easy. I don't have to show up and raise my voice. Um, and I fired enough people in front of these people that, you know, all the bosses or managers understand, like, you know, they, they set the tone very early for anybody new they bring around. Like, you don't walk around here, you know, you're, you're going to be productive, you're not here to walk around, everything's going to be perfect and beautiful, no, nothing can be sloppy, you know? Uh, and, and things run smooth because of that. I don't know the name of half of the guys down there, I don't give a shit what their name is, um, but if they don't do a good job, they won't be here. They're going to yeah. leave the same day, and they won't come back, and that'll be that. And somebody else will replace them. They'll do a good job. So, and th that doesn't require any negative or, you know, any significant negative emotions or yelling or anything of the sort. It's just like, oh, if, if that person's not going to do things up to the standard, then they shouldn't be there. And, like, you know, imagine if you're running a gym, like, you're, you're the people that you do coach, like, you're not going to coach some bum that doesn't, isn't going to no. show up for his own success. No, I stopped coaching a lot of people. And, you know, when I ran a gym, sometimes I'd have to kick people out because, it's like, you can't, you can't have the negative people around you brings everyone down. Like, you know, construction site can mess up something, but the same thing in a gym, you know, one person can throw off the whole environment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, they, they can cause problems on construction. They could cost you a lot of money that you start drilling screws into pipes or things like that. And uh, especially in a high-rise building that can cause, you know, a million dollars in damage. Actually, it's happened, in, it's happened in, numerous times. It happened in this building that the guy is installing cabinets in, the, in a place where they wouldn't normally be, and there's a water pipe behind and he's putting screws into the water pipe and, uh, you know, wondering why it's hard to drill into something. So he's pre-drilling it. And then the, the, so he's just drilled a hole in the water pipe to put, he thinks he's going to put an anchor in there. And, and, uh, and now, you know, you gotta, the, the water is dripping down many floors, causing damage. So, you know, somebody's idiocy can cost a, a homeowner, you know, a million dollars in damage. Kind of easy. Kind of easy. So... Uh, you can't have the wrong people. If you watch this video all the way through, and that tells me you're dedicated to learning more and earning far above average outcomes in your life. Congratulations for that. But now it's time to take action. If you could have earned those results by yourself, you would have done it already. My head coach has opened up a few spots on his high demand calendar for an in-person one-on-one strategy session to help you. On this call, we'll give you the pragmatic advice that you can implement tonight to get laser focused on the right metrics and leave mediocrity far behind in your past. Click that link right now in the description below and apply for your call immediately. Do it now.